Welcome to the Dr. Aaron Show. May you live your truth. Good morning from Los Angeles, California. Uh, this is Dr. Aaron. If you haven't tuned in before, I just want to welcome everybody new around the globe. So excited to announce that we have over 10,000 downloads, which is just a start for this podcast, but it's uh, always a compounding factor. Anything in life, any success that you desire, the first, uh, you know, uh, income, the first amount of growth, the first amount of compounding is always uh, the most challenging. And then you have the compounding factor and it can exponentially grow. And I'll never forget the concept that uh, the question of, would you rather have one penny that compounds every day for the next 10 years of your life, or would you ever have a million dollars? And the answer is, uh, as far as how much growth you'll have, I believe it's a penny. I don't know if it was a million dollars or what, I'll have to do the math on that. But um, it's incredible when you take a look at the compounding factor of life. And so I want to take that distinction into the title of today, which is give up complaining. Because the reality is that whatever we focus on has a butterfly effect in the world. And um, complaining is kind of like a virus of your life. And it spreads uh, in a compounding fashion in all areas. And the opposite is true. Um, if we focus on what we do want and um, growth and innovation and opportunity and uh, giving love to the world, it, it compounds exponentially. So let's bring this on. This uh, podcast uh, is a daily podcast. It's 11 minutes long. Um, we have other podcasts on here that are interviews, um, everything from on the Dr. Aaron show to um, different deep conversations around the realm of relationships and love, health and vitality, money and career and creative expression. So um, if you find this talk, uh, if you like this talk or not, you can always find many others. There's many, many different topics if you scroll through uh, the podcast or if you're finding this on the app also. Uh, so just want to stay tuned in today, just knowing the truth together. So take a deep breath, <sighs> knowing that there's only one source and it is spirit. It's your true self, divine God, the backing of the energy, whatever you want to call it, consciousness. And that's you. That's your true identity, that you are one with all of life, that you are not just this individual we're here to guide and direct energy upon mind and experience ourselves, experience our consciousness and form, experience the, the mirror of life reflecting back to us through the universal law. It's like the physics, the game of life, if you want to say. So oftentimes I refer to universal law, and this is what I'm speaking of. I'm speaking of how we manifest, how life is the mirror of us, how this works, how the physics work, and how you are, um, your subconscious is connected with all of life, how you command your subconscious through your beliefs and your soul, and how that is one with all of life reflecting back to you. So giving up complaining, give up complaining, the title today. I mean, this is one of the, if there's one thing I would say for someone, if they want to have a big shift in their life, and they're not able to reprogram their mind yet, or they're not able to whatever, um, they're not able to heal the past um, kind of programming or release limiting beliefs. If there's one thing I could say to do to take on as a daily spiritual practice, maybe you don't like meditating, maybe it's like, oh, you know, I can't do that yet, or whatever it is. Um, I would say giving up complaining is one of the greatest masteries you could ever take on in this lifetime. And I don't believe there's probably one human being that's been able to do it. But I could say from my own experience that um, my life exponentially gets better when I focus on things that I do want versus things that I don't want. And we all know that we don't like being around people that complain. It's not fun. We have enough problems of our own. We have enough issues. We have enough stress. We don't really want to hear someone else go on and on about their crap. So on that issue, let's just talk about the truth of complaining, right? So what you focus on expands. We know this. This is like basic 101 of life. You can have common sense and know that what you focus on expands in your life, whether it be through the conversation, whether it be through the things that you do, whether it be through whatever, what we focus on expands because, and understand the power of your word, when you speak and you completely start focusing on what you don't want or how life is hard or how people are or the victim mode or whatever it is you're in, your word has power. 
not only in how people view you, but it has power in how you're speaking into existence, your own, you know, you're speaking into the cells of your life, you're, you are putting meaning attached to every word. And the moment you have a positive or negative meaning, you have a positive or negative feeling and emotion and that radiates into the circumstances of your life. So the number one reason people aren't getting what they want is because they're they're focusing on what they don't want. You know, it's it's fascinating because the truth is that we always get what we're committed to. And you'll notice that when people complain, they're committed to suffering. They're committed to being the victim. They're committed to uh, not having success. That's what it's truly a commitment to, okay? So, you know, it's funny because um, I remember I was uh, just uh, interviewing um, Kelly and Harry, and they're these two amazing, dynamic, very upbeat, very positive uh 20 somethings and actually I think Harry's older than I think he's 30 but anyway we were talking about relationships the metaphysics of relationships and blah blah blah. and we were goofing around and they're like okay so you know let's have you coach us on on relationships and um and I said well you know let's first ask you know what is it that you guys want or what are your intentions around dating or whatever that is and um knowing that, you know, 98% of the population really doesn't even have goals because they don't really even decide what they truly want. Um, But anyway, when I ask them, and this is very common for most everybody, when you ask them about things like relationship or dating, what do you want? They instantly actually answer with what they don't want. Well, you know, it's like, well, what do you want? I want, I want to not attract crazy people. (laughs) I want to not attract, you know, jerks. I want to not attract people that are always on social media, whatever it is. They always answer, not always, but majority of people, will answer in what they don't want. It's very, very interesting because they are, and most people are focused on the problems of their life. That's what they focus focus on. And when you focus on the problems of your life, you expand the problems of your life, okay? So, and then also in the realm of career and money, you know, it's interesting when you hear people talk about money. In fact, one of the typical things you do as a coach, as I do as a coach, is I can just have a conversation with somebody, ask them, so tell me about your life, you know, tell me about your money, tell me about career, tell me about relationships, tell me about your health and vitality, tell me about whatever. And what's fascinating is people will you can literally hear all their belief systems within their conversation. They literally just begin to spew out all the things. Oh, well, life is this way. People are this way. Life is hard. This is why I'm not wealthy. This is my, you know, my upbringing was this, therefore I'm that. You know, they go on and on. And generally they talk about problems a lot. It's very fascinating. Very, very fascinating. And so uh, as a, you know, as someone who deals with spiritual Uh, dynamics of a human being talks and deals with their subconscious and deals with their beliefs it always comes down to those beliefs and complaining comes down to beliefs so if you want to give up complaining it is a discipline it's not easy Um, um, well that's another limiting belief it's not easy if you say it's not easy it's actually really difficult to keep complaining so the thought of not complaining is easier than the thought of keep complaining but the reality is this is that the universe doesn't listen it can't hear a negative thing so if you say i don't want um people i can't trust in my life the universe hears it as i want people i can't trust in my life you know what i mean like it literally just listens to what and it just says and so it is it just responds so if you understood the power of of complaining, if you understood how how important it is to give up complaining, you would, if you really, really got it, like if you really, truly understood how powerful you truly are, you would never want to complain another day in your life. You'd be like, whoa, I don't want to manifest that shit. You know what I mean? So, so do that. Give up complaining. I challenge you. I challenge you for an hour. I challenge you for a day. I challenge you to take this one thing on in your life. So today um, we do a universal law. Every day we talk about a universal law distinction within the universal law. So the distinction today is the law of relativity because we align with universal law. And as we align with universal law, we experience ourselves more powerful. So the law of relativity states this, what occurs on a microcosm level is what happens on the macrocosm level. Spiritual truth and universal law are absolute truth. However, they can be individually used for the relative perspective and experience. So this is the deal. You are one with all of the universe and how you use, you can invert universal law and complain and use it to feel bounded, or you can use it and align with it and know the truth and know your potential and, 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 you know, basically experience how powerful you are. And so the relative truth is that complaining is relative. You know, one person's life may be very hard compared to what? You know what I mean? So 
open your eyes, get into gratitude, know that this is a relative experience. And whatever you're experiencing, unless you're like being tortured or don't have food to put on the table, like you got it good. Okay, so stop complaining, start getting into gratitude and start living the life um, that is powerful. Okay, and then today's daily spiritual practice, because every day we have the opportunity to step into our greatness is to go within and visualize what you want happening until you believe it to be a possibility until you're in, in total inspired action. And then today's challenge is try going through your day without making any person, place, or circumstance wrong. And so on that note, you guys, today I know that you have the power to give up complaining. And you can find me at uh, AaronFallHaskell.com. You can find me on social media as Dr. Aaron or DrAaron.tv. Um, I also do have a show, many shows coming out. Dr. Aaron, you can take a look at it. Um, and uh, just just teaching consciousness, teaching, having fun in the shift in La La Land. I love this work. I love building community and having fun around all of it. You know, this spiritual work, sometimes we take it way too serious and just doesn't have to be that. Let's have fun with it, you guys. So have a divine day and may you live your truth.